so I'm done practicing calligraphy and it's time to clean up. Stick around and I'll show you how to properly clean your shoulder brush. Properly cleaning your brush is the most important thing that you can do to help protect and last it a long time. Remember, your brush is the connecting point between your key and the paper, so it is important to take care of it. In this quick video of Japanese calligraphy techniques for beginners, I'm going to demonstrate how to properly clean your brush. To properly clean your brush, you need to remember these three important things. Number one, clean your brush right away. Don't let the zoom ink dry on the brush. That'll cause the bristles to harden and become unusable. If you need to set down the brush down for a few minutes, gently wrap it in plastic to avoid the ink from drying. Number two, use cold running water. Only use cold or room temperature water. Hot water will damage the bristles. Also use running water to help the ink to flush out of the bristle. To rinse all the ink from the center of the brush, gently press the bristles against the palm of your hand. Keep doing this until you see the water coming out clear. Also keep in mind that if you're only using two thirds of the brush to only wash that part, as you want to keep the bristles hard in the top one third. And number three, hang the brush to dry. After you're done rinsing your brush, gently reshape the bristles with your fingers to form a tip. Then hang the brush so the bristles will dry without losing the shape. So that's how you clean up a shoulder brush. If you remember those three basic things, your brush can last a long time. It stays strong, will stay clean, and will retain its shape. Remember, if you take care of it, your brush can last a lifetime. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please click on the link at the end of the video. And as usual, thanks for watching.